This is Flight Doc Reviews. Let's have a look at flying freight in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 in the Fly-By-Wire A320 and the Headwind Simulation Airbus A339X, two very different aircraft. At CYVR, this is Flight Sim Studios version, uh, with, as you see, FedEx in the south, UPS in the north. And we're gonna set up sim brief so that we have zero passengers and a full cargo load. This case with the headwind simulations A339X, and as you see in the lower part of the setup here, we've chosen zero passengers. For some reason, the payload isn't showing correctly. This is the payload for the A320, and you'll see that when we actually move to the A330 later. This is not the correct payload showing here, but it is showing a full, that's the full possible load. Uh, so the other screens, don't forget to generate your plan before you actually uh, get into Microsoft Flight Sim. If you only save it and don't generate it, it won't be available through Sim Connect and you won't get it imported into your aircraft. Generating here and we're going to be flying to KPDX Portland. Now we're showing the estimated cargo weight there, I think 180,000 pounds. So to the Fly-By-Wire A32NX, to their website, their installer, the A320, a beautiful update that they've done, especially the uh, computer, flight computer, all those items, in Navigraph integration, which I'll show you in a second. You choose the Fly-By-Wire A32NX, as we've done here, and uh, there it is in the game. Now we're at cargo UPS 177 at the moment and we will request boarding in a just a second here. You can see that with the Python file added to CYVR F Flight FSIM Studios, you have a lot more information on the actual docking positions. If the, the docks and gates have been reorganized and renamed. You can get that configuration at the GSX forum website. It took me some good work to get that working properly. Here's the aircraft. It looks great with the UPS livery, even with all the windows, which of course cargo aircraft do not have. But if you want to just fly the A320 as a cargo plane, uh, you can do that. And with the UPS livery, FedEx, DHL, probably several others available at flightsim.to. We're going to request boarding and let things unfold. Cargo container loaders will be on their way here. The new cockpit looks great uh, if you haven't updated, if you are using the fly-by-wire aircraft. The new cockpit is glare shield is really nice and they've cleaned up and improved some of the instrumentation as well. So on your electronic flight board you open your doors and cargo bays and then things get moving. Electronic flight board is also of course where you have Navigrav integration with charts and uh, we'll show you just a quick look at what that looks like separately here. This is the separate application for flight plans you set up your SIDs and stars all your charts can be overlaid like this approach chart to KPDX I run two monitors and this is usually my second monitor but you do have flight graph uh, chart integration into your EFB as well one of the beautiful things about Navigraph fantastic program it does have a roughly ten dollars subscription charge per month but well worth it if you like to fly the heavies and especially if you're flying high altitude airways and especially if you're flying IFR <laughs> Yeah. So the cargo loader is getting in place. And uh, boarding, of course, in this case, we won't board passengers. We only board the ones who selected in the sim brief, which will be the pilots and crew. Now, I've set this aircraft up as a cargo flight, cargo uh, aircraft. And it means you select different kind of cargo containers for loading. And then you save that configuration. This is all done in GSX and the instructions are all in the GSX manual or you can download, uh, share a configuration with somebody and then you are good to go with A320 as a cargo aircraft. So things are unfolding properly here. We'll look back at the electronic flight board for a second because we are going to um, show you the payload. 42,500 kilograms in the A320. That's a lot of weight, but nothing compared to the A330. As you can see, about uh, seating for, I think, I don't know, 240 passengers in the standard configuration in the A320. A321, maybe a few more. There you are. The new cockpit looks really nice. 
We will move on to the Headwinds A339X. This is their website. Download via the installer. Drop the files into your community folder. No, you don't. You just run the installer. It looks for your community folder. It finds them itself. 208 feet long, a lot more weight and a lot more space than the A320. Here it is at FedEx Terminal in CYVR, the south part of the airport. Looking good. Nice looking model, some nice liveries again. DHL, UPS, FedEx, Luftwaffe Cargo. I've seen quite a number out there. I t tend to fly FedEx and UPS. Door forward open, door aft open, cargo bays open, and then we can call for boarding. I'll show you the difference in the payload here. So we've gone from 42,500, zero passengers, to 127,000 kilograms is our freight load potential on this aircraft. That's a lot of freight. That new video board you've been waiting for, new amplifier, maybe a small car. A lot of weight there, supported by a lot of tires. Some serious landing gear and some serious engines. Next model up, I think it's a 350, uses four engines. So that's our A330. And again, look at the CYVR, the revised organization of the gates and areas here labeled so they're easy to find especially for cargo aircraft a bit of work but, but nice to use so i hope you enjoyed that look and maybe i'll add to this at some point with a little more detail but for now that are, those are the two good options in microsoft flight sim